Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop, your free weekly podcast about all things Photoshop. Today, we're going to take a look at cool effects we could do using our text and combining it with layer styles. Now, the text engine in Photoshop is very flexible, and when you use layer styles, you can get all sorts of great photorealistic effects for things like bevels and glows and shadows. Let's explore a few different techniques that we can use to create some pretty cool effects. Now, I've downloaded this file here that has four text layers, and I've already applied four different layer styles to it. You can create your own text block or download this file if you've got the book Understanding Adobe Photoshop CS4. Let's start with this first one here. And you'll see the letters F and X over here in the Layers panel. If we twirl that to expose it, you'll see that this effect is comprised of a drop shadow, an inner shadow, an inner glow, a bevel and emboss, a pattern, and a stroke. Let's look at those one at a time. There's the original text, and we applied a stroke to it of a gray stroke. Here's a pattern, giving it that silvery look, a little bit of a bevel to help raise it, a little bit of an inner glow and an inner shadow to create a little bit of perceived depth, and a drop shadow to lift it off the page. Now, this is pretty simple, it may sound complex, but it's just a combination of different layer styles. Now, if you click on the little layer FX here, you'll see we have lots of options to choose from, including an outer glow, satin, and color and gradient overlays that you haven't seen yet. Let's go ahead and throw this effect away and make a new one from scratch. I'll go ahead and click on the letter FX here, and I am going to add a bevel and emboss. Now, there's lots of types of bevels you can use. We can go ahead and change that to an emboss or an inner bevel, play with the size and how soft it gets. And notice that depending upon the style, there's chisel versus chisel soft, it takes on different appearances. I'm going to set this to an outer bevel here and pull that in so it's not nearly as tight. And you see we just have a little lifting off the page. Now let's go ahead and add on to this here and I'm going to choose a gradient overlay. And the gradient allows you to pick from any of the gradients you have loaded and you can use those on your text. Notice you can introduce colors, you could choose from any of the presets here. We can go with metallic and introduce those into our text. If you want to combine a stroke, you could easily put an edge on the text to help it be more readable and continue to play. Let's toss on a little bit of a satin overlay there and play with the opacity and the size and we get a nice jelly type effect. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and that's looking pretty good. Now if you want to get some ideas and get inspired, there's lots of text presets included. Just go to your styles panel and click and you'll see that you have text effects and text effects too. You go ahead and choose those and load it up and then it's just a simple click and you'll see different options just one click away. Some of these are quite nice and some of them aren't but they are all good for inspiration and remember totally flexible. So if you see something you like and this is close to what you want just look at the layer effects here. In this case I can click on color overlay and say you know I don't want blue I need this to be a red text. And that's pretty close and let's go to the inner glow and instead of yellow I want that to be a little bit of a darker red. And let's just play here with the highlight mode Let's push that to red as well, and that's looking pretty good. So, lots of flexibility. You come up with something you like, just click OK, and then click in an empty area to add the swatch and give it a name. We'll call this red glass, and it's added to that current library. So, lots of flexibility. Now, make sure you save that if you want to store that for later use you can go ahead and actually save the styles and update that so it gets added to that particular style set. Lots of other options here to choose from. You see some great flexibility and hopefully this is inspiring because you'll have ideas you'll want to try out. Remember there is one more set included. You can go ahead and click and choose the normal text effects which would technically be text effects one and I'm going to go ahead and just simply append those on so it's added and you'll see lots more to choose from from simple strokes to sort of beveled glass and lots of options. The key here is to realize that the effects have great controls. So when you look at that and you start to play with the contour setting here, 
you'll see how it completely changes the particular bevel. Most people write these off as just simple one-click effects, but they all have incredibly powerful options for things like lighting and the edge shape, which allow you to customize this. Be sure to fully explore what you could do with these really cool layer styles. And if you join us next week, we're going to show you how to take these layer styles and actually use them on photos to create custom one-click looks that you can quickly switch between for your photo collection. My name is Rich Harrington. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. And of course, check out our resource blog over at rastervector.com. Thanks. created a new training title called Quick Fixes. And what you get to learn here is how to get more out of Photoshop. And it's a completely interactive experience. So you've got video tutorials to watch, you get all the hands-on files. Plus, once you've completed the lessons, you're welcome to take a quiz to see if the knowledge stuck. So we really want you to learn how to get more out of Photoshop, and the Quick Fixes title teaches you just that. 